To God. God is here, yes? God is to us. Yes? Ibabao Satanan. He is higher than every other person. God. Angino O. And God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We know that. Who is the Son? Jesus is the Son. And the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. So God is three. Okay? And God is also one. Jesus is God. How do we know that Jesus is God? It's because Jesus' mother was a virgin. We know Virgin Mary. She gave birth. So who's the father? She's a virgin. Who's the father? No father? God is the father. That's why Jesus is God. Okay? Uh, si Jesus lamang walay bahin sa salah. Si Jesus, Jesus is not a sinner. We all know that. Are you a sinner today? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a few people today. So, okay. Si Jesus lamang walay bahin sa salah. So because Jesus has no human father, he has no sin. Because if you have a father, any, anybody here does not have a father, you don't have a father, then you're not a human being. If, you're, if you have a father, that means makasasala usab. Tungod, your father was also a sinner. Is that right? Your father's a sinner. So you are now a sinner. But Jesus did not have a, a father, human father, so he has no sin. You understand? So he has no sin. He is holy. Siya lamang balaan. Walay bisan sa mga santos balaan. Did you know that? Yes. Okay, si Jesus lamang buhi. Okay, that's the next thing. Si Jesus nabanhagi kan sa mga minatay. Sa mga patay. Apan ang mga santos uh, Tanan sa mga patay. Okay? Dili kita modul nga mga santos. We mustn't go to the saints. Why? Because they're sinners. They're sinners. Is that right? Did Mary have a father? Did Mary have a father? Yes. Mary, Mary's mother is not a virgin. Only Mary is a virgin. So, si Maria makasasala usab. Okay? Si Mar Maria usab siya patay. So, we can't go to dead people. Okay? 
Dead people cannot help us. Si Maria usa lamang katao sama kanimo. Mary is just a person. Apan si Jesus si atao usab siya siya Dios siya kai Dios. So Jesus is a man. Jesus is a man. You agree? Jesus slept. Jesus is a man. Jesus died. He's a man, but he's also God. So God and man together is who? Jesus. God and man together. That is Jesus. So see, Jesus Lamang. He's the only one who. Can be our mediator. You know what that is? Tik pataliwala. So you mustn't pray to Mary because Mary can't even hear you. Walay bisan unsa sa mga santos na makadungog sa iyong mga pagampo. None of the saints can hear. Why? Because they're human. If if sister um, sister there, Rosalyn is praying. In Pang Lao, she's praying to me. She's saying, "Saint Tony, Saint Anthony, help! Are you praying to me? Why? I can't hear you. And even if I can hear you, I can't jump to Pang Lao and help you. I can't help you. Okay. So, God is what you call God is omnipresent. What does it mean? God can be here. God can be in Pang Lao. God can be in the United States. He can be everywhere. You agree? But Mary can't be everywhere because she's a human. She can't even hear. She doesn't even know. That's why when we say all glory must be to the Lord, that must be only to Jesus. You see, not to the saints, but today. What do they do? They they take bata, okay? Si Jesus, dili siya bata hangtod sa hangtod. They've got Jesus. He's just a baby. You see the Santa Nino? He's just a baby. Si Jesus, dili siya bata. Si Jesus, magbubuhat sa tanan. So if you have a statue like a baby, it's not good. See, all, all glory must. See, Jesus, she was a baby. Yes, he was, but not anymore. Not anymore. See, Jesus, buhi hang tod sa hang tod. He is alive forever. Delicia bata. So we must not make, we must not make Larawan a Santa Nino, because that's not Jesus. Delicia Jesus. Okay. Uh, finally, basaho ng Biblia. Ug ang napulo kasugo dili kamagbuhat ug usak alarawan. You must not make any picture, any rebulto dili mga rebulto. Okay, so the good news ang maayong balita nga ang Dios nagsaad ni ini nga adunay kita ay kinabuhing walay katapusang. Si Jesus, Jesus has given us walay. Nagsaad nga adunay purgatorio. Those people are saying, when you die, you're going to where? Purgatory. Is that right? Well, like purgatorio in the Bible, we follow the Bible. Yes, the Bible is true. This is ang kamatayon, not kamatayon, ang kamatora. Sorry, not kamatayon, not death. This is the truth. Ang kamatoran. And the Bible is saying that walay purgatorio, walay penitencia. You know penitencia. You do the rosary again, again, balik, balik. That you don't do that. Si Jesus magbayad, okay, for you. He paid for you, right? Dili ginahan lang nga ikaw magampo sa mga mga soan nga mga patayna. You don't have to pray. For dead people, because God has given eternal life, you don't need to pray for them. People are praying for dead. Is that right here in Tagbilaran? Some of them are praying for dead. Maybe you want to share something, okay? 
You, you'd like me to turn to a Bible verse? 727. What does it say? Daily sacrifices. Okay. Okay. I'm reading I'm reading a book a test of far from no, far from Rome near to God These are testimonies of 50 50 Roman Catholic priests who left Roman Catholicism to follow the Bible these are priests. Mga these pari. are priests. And these 50, are not just 50. 50 of them. When they found out the truth from the Bible, they realized that, that it is far from the teaching, teachings of Roman Catholicism. One of them yeah. says, the reason why he came, he come out from the Catholic Church, uh, from being a Catholic priest, even a missionary here. This is a priest. Though normally, I can say that the, the common denomination why they want to be a Roman Catholic is because they want to be good. So that means they want to be, they want to be sure that they can go to heaven. But why did they leave Catholic Catholic Church if they want to go to heaven the reason is they, they're saying that in, in Rome in, in the study of theology in, in, in to become a priest they don't read the Bible they read the Bible very very seldomly and they only use the Bible only just to just to support their teaching but they don't they, 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 the teacher even said that if you don't understand the Bible just forget about it <laughs> how can we know God the question is how can we know God if we don't read the Bible so you talk to your priest if they read the whole Bible and they, I can guarantee you they have not okay these are 50 and they have not okay this one person this one priest he got saved he he came to know to to follow the authority of the Bible when he saw this one because the priest would always every day the priest would every day would make a sacrifice the bread the mass that is what you call a bloodless sacrifice what is called transubstantiation where the the hostia is is jesus coming they they have the power they're saying that they have the power this is actually what i, I i'm reading they said that they have the power to make jesus to become a bread that's what they're saying. This is what the teaching in the Vatican. Okay. But what is the Bible? What does the Bible teach us? Who needeth not daily? Who? Who is this who? This is Jesus. High priest. This is Jesus, the high priest. Who needeth not daily as those high priests this, these high priests are the ma men to offer up sacrifice. So you can see, Jesus Christ, the high priest, doesn't need daily sacrifice. To even sacrifice for his own sin. Why? Because as, uh, as uh, our leader Tony said, he doesn't have sin. He doesn't need to sacrifice for his own sin. 
Then for the people, for he only did this once and for all when he died on the cross. And they said, he did, he did once when he offered up himself. This, um, this man, who, this priest who said, when he read the Bible, this one, he realized, why am I offer, doing a daily sacrifice? Why am I making sacrifice? Why am I doing all of these rituals? Why? I am a priest and why am I doing this for others? When at the, big, at, at the first place, Jesus did it once and for all. Once and for all from the people, from the past people, old people up to the present people. So that means this priest was saying, I don't need to do this. This is far from the teaching of Rome. This is totally different. And he said, if God, if God do, does this, why would not, why would I do something that is, that will, that will, uh, change what God has done. So he realized that he is just as the same as us. He is not he is the same as us who as a priest need a savior. So, so that means he doesn't he realized that he doesn't need to do this. Because Jesus himself has, did, has done this only once. You understand? Yes. You don't need to have mass. He doesn't, you don't need, you don't to, need to make mass. To, to make mass because Jesus as, has already come. As a person, we cannot make God. That is what they're saying. As a person who is sinful, I cannot make God. This is their own realization while they are serving in the Catholic. Now, this one is saying, can I serve still the Roman Catholic even if I believe in Jesus? It says, he says here, God is very clear. Come out. Come out. So that's, that's why they are coming. Come out of them, my people. Come out from them, my people. Come out. So that means there is only one choice. It says here, this is what this, uh, this priest was saying. He was trying to serve as a priest even though his heart is not fully devoted to him, to, to, to priesthood because of what the Bible is saying. So just, just so that he could be a priest, but the God is, is telling him, come out of her, my people. So he's saying that if I really, really want to follow God, I need to come out. And if, I'm say, if I am a, a part of God's people, then I need to come out from her. Her is a church. Her in the Bible is a church. Her is in this is the Babylon. Babylon is the now is a Catholic church. Babylon is a Catholic church. Babylon is described as a prostitute. Yes. Is a woman who does not have a husband. Yes. That means that God is not her husband. Yes. Christ has a wife. Yes. Christ's is wife is the believers. The believers. Of the church. The church, yes. That is Christ's wife. Yes. We but are the bride. There is also a bad woman called a harlot. Yes. This is the false church, not belonging to God. Does not have God as the husband. It's yes. just a woman who goes 
anywhere. This is called a harlot. So Babylon is this kind of yes, this kind of group. Yes, of actually, people. I actually I read also a testimony from. The, not, they they are not married to God. Yes, they are saying that the nun manga madre that they are yes. married to God. Yes, they are. They are not. Yes, because they are not they, true. They don't. Believers. They don't believe in the Bible. Those who believe in the Bible, who whose Bible is the authority in their life, those who believe in Jesus Christ, as said in the Bible, is the true bride of Christ. You understand? Yes. But those who uh, sorry sorry, <laughs> but those who are not, <laughs> I did not see you. But those who are who don't believe in the Bible, they have their own book, and they just choose something from the Bible to support their book. That is not correct. That is not the bride of Christ. And uh, there is also one one woman. I think he's, he, she's a, a she a, 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 she 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 she's a British woman, and she used to be a, a she she she's an Egyptian logist. She said. That when she found out that e- when she found out about Egypt, she was saying she's finding she has the same. She is the sa- It is the same as Babylon, and it is the same as the Roman Catholic Church. So these people are saying that the Egypt is equal to Babylon. Egypt, Babylon, and now the Roman Catholic Church. These are all. Um, testimonies of the people that are that has that have found that have found that the true knowledge. Okay, so you know what what happened to Egypt. You know what is Egypt. They don't believe in God, and you know what is Babylon. They are they are the proud proud city, and we know the Roman Catholic Church. Is the that 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 church, the universal church in the world, who has the who who has the power over the uh, over the politic politics? But God was saying to to all of them, come out of her if you really, really, really want to follow the Bible. The Jesus of the Bible, you need to come out. Because what will happen if you don't come out? You will become a partaker of her sins. And you will receive the plagues. This is punishment. Punishment. So whatever punishment that God has brought to them, you will become part of that. That's why those who are previous Roman Catholics, they come out. Why? Because they want to follow what God of the Bible is saying. And we must not have a crucifix because Nagto o nga si Jesus buhi dili sama sa patay sa mga crucifix. See, on the crucifix, Jesus is yes. dead. And also, kung but medyo... to be saved, you must believe that Jesus is yes. alive, yes, yes. no longer dead. And also, if you think that you you will you will become you will become a laughing stock, don't worry because these people have done was was even more would they suffered more of the persecution than because they are already in the Vatican they already there so they have they they were they they were even they were even some of them were even brought to mental hospital they even have to escape they even have to escape if you are a priest you have to you have to escape you can't they just said, you can't just walk yes you know one of you them said you have to said, leave Bohol said when you when when the priest sees 
when the priest saw the the higher priest saw that he was reading the Bible, he he was writing uh, a, a, a like a, a, a waiver to bring them to the mental hospital. Imagine that. Somebody, a priest who just wanted to know, to really, really know God and read the Bible was, was, was being brought to a mental hospital. Now, imagine if you're taken to a mental hospital. Yes. But you're okay. You, yes. you say to them, but I'm okay. They don't believe you. You say, no, you are, you are Because he is reading here. the Bible. So the, the, you are those, now a prisoner yes. in a mental hospital. Yes. So those people, those priests who are not or who are in the mental hospital, they are not real crazy. They are just finding the truth. They even yes. have mental hospitals just for priests. Yes. Just, just to priests. keep them but there. But those are those who are seeking the truth. I think we can just we can just pray together. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are the true God. You do not leave us alone here on earth. You brought your word for us to know what is the truth. And as you said, you shall, when, when we seek you, and we seek you with all your heart, we will find the truth and the truth will set us free lord help us it is better for us to suffer in this world than to suffer in hell lord and we don't want that we cannot escape here in this world we can still escape but in the next world we cannot lord help us to be bold to just follow you whatever the tradition is saying to us in Jesus name amen amen
born Be strong For the Lord thy God is with you I am not afraid I am not dismayed Cause I'm walking in faith Come on walk Come on walking in faith and victory And faith and victory In faith and victory Come on walking in I'm walking in faith and victory Walking in faith and victory Come on, walking in faith Let your glory fall 
Let your glory fall Let your glory fall
spirit which you give freely to all who come thank you for your gospel for your free gospel Lord Jesus that we are trying to share with people Lord thank you for today's opportunity God for those ears for the strategy that we have that we can actually reach people with your message today pray God that you open their ears of those who heard Lord Jesus we know that we are only as strong as you are strong yes amen we have no strength of our own yes when we try to do it ourselves then we mess up like what we saw last week Ken yes but we are now relying on your grace yes Lord humbling ourselves yes Humble yourself before the Lord because the strength comes from Him. Amen. And when we think of our own ways, that's when we fall down. Yes. Lord, help us to be strong in Jesus. Yes. Strong in the Lord. As the song says, that's where we get our strength. Cause me to live. Cause me to live. By thy river That's how we get the life from the river Cause me to live By thy river There's only one source of life Cause me to live By thy river We need to learn to live by his river Cause me to live Cause me to dream, cause me to live. Just lift your voice in prayer. Yes, Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that we can worship you, we can, we can come before you today. Lord, forgive us for all of the things that we have done wrong to you in the First and foremost, Lord, we thank you for the sacrifice that you have made once and for all. Lord, that means that what you have done is authority, is power. Power to those who believe in you. Lord, power to get out from the pit of hell. Power to to salvation to overcome Satan and all his all of his subtleties Lord I pray oh Lord let let us the, the song says cause me Lord let us hunger for you let us hunger for your word let us hunger for your for your presence today Lord Lord, we have set aside this time so we can experience you today. I pray, Lord, that you be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Father of creation, 
unfold your sovereign plan. Raise up a chosen generation that will march through the land. All of creation is longing for your unveiling. salvation that you have brought upon us. Lord, yes, as we are saying, the truth will set us free, Lord. And this is a truth that Jesus Christ is God. Jesus is God. Lord, Jesus is not a statue. Jesus is alive. Jesus is not in this world. Jesus is there in heaven, sitting at the right throne of God, of God. And what we have here is your word and your Holy Spirit. Lord, that is what we are saying. That means the Holy Spirit cannot be seen. Can, can, be only, can only be felt, but cannot be seen. Lord, we can only see you when you come back here. And we can only see you face to face there in heaven. Lord, that is, that is so that we can, we can have faith. We, it, it, can, it can create faith in us. That's why I'm telling them that if you see something, your faith is on the what is seen. But when you don't see something, your faith is, some, is, is toward the, the things that you cannot see. Lord, and that is what you, you, 
you that is the only requirement for for salvation that we have faith in the Lord that cannot be seen Lord thank you Lord that we have the truth to tell people and these people that you have given us Lord we are we are taking opportunity for this uh, for, for for them to to hear the word of God to hear the only good news of salvation that is that is um, that is uh, available in this world Lord you brought us or you brought them here for the purpose of maybe they have their own purpose but the ultimate purpose is for them to hear your word thank you Lord for salvation in Jesus name and I sing broken for me broken for you the body of Jesus broken for me Corinthians chapter 11 23 for I've received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me is the body of Christ broken for you let us eat After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Let us drink in remembrance of the Lord. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Lord, this is your church. And in this church, we are showing the Lord's death. We're declaring that Jesus died. He came, died, and he rose again. 
and we acknowledge the work of Christ in this symbol that it is finished. There is no other work to be done. And thereby we receive salvation. We have received salvation by the finished work of Jesus Christ. Therefore, it is for everybody to do this in remembrance of Christ, not just for a few select people, so-called priests, not just for those in the clergy, the so-called clergy, so-called body of Christ, which is not a real body of Christ. Thank you for being part of your body. Let's take a few moments and thank God that we are part of his body. Thank you, Lord Jesus. By this work that you did on the cross, we are part of the body of Christ. We have eternal life through Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your eternal life. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, you've given us eternal life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your eternal life. You have given your life for us, Lord. Let's thank God for His yes, finished. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you have done done the job once and for all you've that done we the don't job need, yes, we don't need to sacrifice to bring this sacrifice we even said obedience is better than sacrifice we need we you just need our obedience you just want that we obey uh, Lord we thank you because our sacrifice is our praises to the Lord Lord, is our body, is our service unto you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for, for, uh, for, for the gift of eternal life. That, that we don't, that you made it even easy, sim simple for us. But uh, in actu in, but actually it is not easy for us because we are sinners. That's why your grace and your mercy, uh, we need your grace and your mercy because we know that we are sinners and are condemned to hell. But it, because of your grace, it, this salvation, your heaven, is made available to us. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You can have a seat. is worthy of our all glory for this work of the cross no man on earth should give glory to himself all the glory must be all the glory must be all the glory must be to the Lord. Lord, we thank you that our salvation is not from us. And all glory goes to you, Lord, in heaven for the work that you've done to bring us into your kingdom, the salvation of Jesus. All glory must belong to you. Let's give God the glory for our salvation. The finished work of Christ. All glory must be to the Lord, for He is worthy of our praise. No man on earth can.
can save himself. Himself. Yes, Lord, no man on earth can save themselves. No man on earth can take your glory, Lord Jesus. All the glory must be, all the glory must be to the for you deserve all praise yes Lord you are just a just God because you you don't you you don't make you don't uh, you, you don't make your salvation av available through any man in this world it's only one so that we don't or through any other means by or by our good works so that as you said no man can boast lord that is that is a work of a just god because you see every every other creature just like us the same the same human being that you have created whatever status of we have in this life we are all the same we are sinners and we therefore need of salvation and that is made available only through yes. jesus christ jesus. lord thank you because 
Your salvation cannot be earned. Your salvation cannot be bought. Your salvation cannot be... Uh, we, we cannot say we have or cannot be gained by any other means. Lord, otherwise, a lot of people will be very, 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 very... Uh, uh, proud just like those of the Pharisees just like those of the priests that they, they think they can even make God themselves to to be to be to be uh, to be subject on them subject subject of them and that we they can just contain God in a in a bread or cannot contain God in, in in a box Lord that is not you yes. Lord we thank you because there is only one there is only one way that means Lord this is the only message that every person need to hear every every person in the world need to hear to Come to the knowledge of God. Lord, yes, all the glory must be unto you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Some of our friends are even preaching false doctrine because they're in the flesh. So they're zealous, but they're in the flesh. So there is no spirit, there is no life where someone is in the flesh. Thank you, Lord, that it is by your spirit. The flesh profits nothing. The flesh profits nothing. sinful flesh and for sin condemn sin and evil. so we see that Christ has taken our flesh and nailed it to the cross thank you Lord thank you God that you became flesh to deal with sin to deal with sin and you've given us the spirit of life the spirit of God that will deal with sin that will cleanse us and give us the life of Christ the life of Christ in us Christ in me allows me to fulfill the righteousness of the law verse 4 that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for they that are after the flesh do mind the things that are in the flesh. But they that are after the Spirit, the things that are of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. Anything done in the flesh is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. For the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God. If you're using the mind that you were born with, you will be an enemy of God. That's what it's saying. The mind is condemned. The ways of the mind, the ways of the mind learned from the world is enmity against God. Thank God for His Spirit.
us thank God that the words that we speak on our Jericho march are spirit. They're not life. They're not flesh. They are spirit. Christ said the words that I speak to you, they are spirit. It's easy to talk about those other preachers on the street and we can see that many of them are in the flesh. But the reason that our word is reaching, touching the heart is because they are the words of the Lord, they are spirit. This is what the Lord said. My words are spirit. My words are life. words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Let's thank God that he's given us the spirit, the words. Thank you God for the spirit. The words are spirit and they are life. Lord, I pray that your work would continue, Lord Jesus. Continue, Lord, to reach those people when they hear on the street. of spirit Lord those preachers all they need to do is preach salvation and soon the Holy Spirit will be there it's not our word but it is the truth just the gospel that Jesus Christ came to give eternal life it's not about keeping the Sabbath it's not about doing a rosary it's not about all of those false doctrines but it is about Jesus, alive, risen, therefore no crucifix, no rosary will save anybody, no statue, because it says God is not worshipped with man's hands, you do not want that kind of worship, you reject it, that means you reject all of those people who worship you like that, yes. You reject all of those who worship you like that.
to come quickly Lord because this earth is becoming this world is becoming more and more wicked the love of the many grow cold as we have said colder and colder Lord the only hope that we have is you we cannot even we cannot even trade without the mark of the beast one day even the seed the, the na nature the nature they are trying to to revert or to spoil the nature by not allowing the fruits to be to to have its seed lord that's evil so we can see the evil even even the 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 nature of a, a man and a woman they are perverting lord this is evil lord the only thing lord that we can survive is when you come, Lord. Surely, Lord, we ask you to come quickly. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, Lord.